Hi and welcome. My name is Leanne. I'm your social media specialist and I just wanted to quickly show you, well it won't be that quickly, there's a few steps on how to actually implement a fan page landing page or welcome page within your fan page site on Facebook. Now with the recent changes with um, Facebook, we once were able to use what we called an FBML code which allowed us to uh, place the different um, information onto your fan page. However, on the 10th of March, Facebook changed it to iframes. So I've been racking my brain, paying lots of money out to find tutorials on how to so that I can deliver it free of charge to you guys. So let's get started. As I said, this is one of many. Um, it took me about 20 minutes the other day to record the whole lot and it wouldn't allow me to put it on YouTube. As you know, you only have a 10 minute maximum. So my eyes are on the clock. I hope I'm not speaking too fast for you all. And um, let's get started. So I'm. Um, this is the easiest way that I've found. There is something else that I did research. However, I don't know how great it is in delivering um, the product that they said, but I will show you that at the end of this video um, series as well. So let's get started. Okay, what you need, you need to have a domain name. What I'm going to show you is how to actually use WordPress to create a fan page landing page. I'm just going to go over to mine here so that you can see it. So when we go to my landing page, this was all done on, on WordPress. Okay, just waiting for it to load a few minutes there. Sorry guys. Okay, it's not there we go. So this is all done on WordPress. So where we're going what we're going to do first, and I use crazy domains only because um, I found it the most reliable reliable and it's the only one that I can really get my head around. I don't want to learn too much on different domain registrations sites. However, I'm sure that they are all the same. So I use crazy domains. What you need to do is go in and type the name. Um, of the website that you want to register. Now, if you already own a website for your business with a domain name registered, that's okay. I don't believe that the actual name of this domain has any um, bearing on your website. What we're doing is just creating a, a WordPress site which has a domain name registered to it and then we're going to integrate that into Facebook so that you won't actually see the web address. I um, hope I'm making myself clear. So I've chosen I Love Life and as you can see it's already um, available in the .net.au. Again, I'm not an IT guru. Um, I don't believe that whether it's .net, .com, .net, .co, .nz or whatever really makes a big difference for this but if anyone um, has more information on that I'm open to suggestions so please let me know. So you need to register your domain name so put eight bucks um, put your hand in your pocket and pull out eight bucks and register the domain name you'll need to do this two days before we actually go ahead because it does take um, sorry do this now it'll be registered in about 24 hours but it takes two days for it to to transfer it from your domain to your hosting now I'm not going to try and give you too much information because I want this to come across as simple as it possibly can because it is very very simple so right we've registered our domain name you would have received an email stating that your name is live you need to then go over to a hosting platform to host the WordPress um, page I use HostGator again I use HostGator because everybody I've listened to on the internet that's an internet marketing guru all suggest HostGator they say that it's the best so I follow the best so I'm telling you guys I use HostGator however you're welcome to use any other platform again I believe that their control panel is very similar okay but for this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to use HostGator okay for me I have selected the business platform plan which is 10 bucks a month not a lot of money that gives me unlimited domains unlimited disk space etc but if you're only doing one maybe you'll just start with um, $3.96 a month it's up to you now open up your host or register for your host cater account and you will get an email and a very very important email that will have your domain server addresses now when you get this from HostGator they'll actually say that it's very very important for you to file it and I cannot stress enough because you need that information when you go back to crazy domains over here and you transfer or redirect your web 
address, your domain name, over to your hosting account. Now that's what takes two days, okay, for that to happen. You may or may not get an email saying that it actually has happened, but it does take two days. So, okay guys, get ready, set, go, register your domain name, register for host gating or search on the internet, Google for other hosting platforms um, to find the best one that suits you, and then we'll get started. So let's just say that you've done that. Okay, what you need to do is go into um, your domain account and for purposes of this, I will actually um, log in and show you what I'm talking about in regards to the name servers. These, um, in, in um, I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to pick up one just to show you what I'm trying to um, achieve here. See here, it's got name server details. Currently, it's with crazy domains. But to update your name servers is all you need to do. And from your email address you will have, from HostGator, you will have the correct details that they will want you to put in there. And it's that simple. So you go into your account in crazy domains once you've logged in and registered your domain. You go into manage domains, you pick up the actual domain name itself that you want to use as your WordPress site. You go down to name servers, you update the name server and you simply delete those two and put the two in that you've been given from um, HostGator. That simple and click add name server. Again, as I said, that takes two days to go ahead. Well, anywhere from 24 hours to 72 hours is what they say. So. Quite simple guys, great. Now I'm going to leave this uh, with you for video one, giving you enough time to take a breather and go out and get your domain name registered and also your host gator or your, go your hosting account um, there. I will also put some links on my website or my blog to show you uh, how to, um, or some links to these places. Anyway, I'll think about that. Sorry, I'm getting off track with everything I have to tell you today. It's very, very exciting. So guys, that's it for this video. Video two will go into the next phase. So I'm, I'm hoping that you found this beneficial and are very, very keen to get onto the next part of how to create your own fan page within Facebook. Ciao for now.